Fran Frischilla, who said this summer after watching him in summer leagues and wherever he was playing internationally, that he believed that had Rui gotten in front of the NBA. Numbers for Gonzaga staggering. Top shooting team in Division One, top scoring team in Division One, showing some of it right. Clark on top, Perkins on the side, approaching six to play. Polite follows Perkins. Tip and we are underway. Josh Perkins, seven assists shy of Matt Santangelo's career mark. We'll keep an eye on that tonight. Josh admitted he'd love to get it done tonight. Kispert drives. Hachimura controls it and Davis. And the new format, which I guess is readopted because they used to have this format, now they've gone back to it. We're a double buy for the top two seats. <laughs> Petrusa, second attempt from three. And that last turnover by Norbell was the first. It's her. 40 minutes in a grinding game, basically. We looked at Sonny Gonzaga. None of those guys play 30 minutes. That could be a factor late if the game is close. Achimura to Kispert. And Ryan basketball for the number one seed in the West and the number four team in college basketball. Tilly, three, book it. And he said, this place has been very, very good to me. He was not with BYU last year. He's 2-0 and in his career as Gino Crandall. And Washington Eric Roth and Sean Farnham continue to see the seniors for the Zags. Stepping up on senior night. Here's one of them, Jeremy Jones. Get a little bit, and as you highlighted before, Steve, it's not a deep, fairly Dickinson team. Clark turning the ball over, especially live turnover, live ball turnover. Butler has one of Baylor's six turnovers. And now two fouls. Norvell with an interesting format in the West Coast Conference Tournament. Top two seeds get an automatic pass to the semifinal round, and they basically start blending in. The senior from Idaho who leads the West Coast Conference in conference play three-point shooting. That was a travel with Kispert, by the way. That wasn't called. This game and this say, just relax. <laughs> I know four wins coming. Oh, no, getting too late the season for that. It's never too late when you got Aaron Rodgers. Oh, the lob. Zach Norts. And he's guarding. I, I like this. Kegler is guarding uh, Clark. And Vidal is on Hachimura. Hachimura blows right past him. The net, we have... Five teams in the top 100 and three in the top 50. And that enables a team like Gonzaga to go in the league play and not fall behind while running toward the And Baylor comes out man to man. They ditch that zone, which I can't blame them. Let's see if they can get it inside. Clark left alone. They can't do that. And Mark gives them freedom on offense. They play. You know, I motivated this team. I said, how do you motivate them when you're beating people 30, 35? He said, we motivate against different situations. Team. Because before it had been two. That's right. And then they made a you free so throw there. So yeah. out. <laughs> what a pass. Norvell finds. For Gonzaga and the versatility of just being able to switch everything. It's hard to break down a defense if, if your action just doesn't open up any space. Pretty well at shooting around today. You and I were counting at one point in time. They made six or seven threes as they were rotating through. Good finish. St. Mary's four of eight from downtown. As the Gales reclaim the lead. Rui Hachimura bang. Childs comes up short. Another quick possession for BYU. Norvell again, this time on the win. Josh Perkins to the bucket. He just outworked Brandon Clark. He wanted that ball more. 